All right, let's watch this together, guys, and let's see if we like it. I want us to seriously evaluate this after we're done watching this trailer. Let's do it. Let's do it. They're coming. Stay hidden. Or we will not survive. Leave us alone. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. Damn. Damn. He just spit some fire right there. Damn, Uncle Ben. Damn, Uncle Ben. Straight fire. You still want Kenobi. Damn. You've been looking in the wrong places. I want every oh, lone shit. life and bounty hunter to squeeze him. Oh shit! They are after Obi Wan hard. Yes! 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 You can't escape him! Oh shit! I got a little bit of the goosebumps right on that shit. Oh, motherfucking Anakin, don't even get me started. Fucking better fight. They better fight in this, mother... I hope there's some other type of fight in this that we don't know of between him and Vader. I already know Darth Maul's gonna be in this shit, right? Is Darth Maul gonna be in this? Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, dude. I'm, I'm actually really excited about this. I have to say I'm very excited about this. I hope they do not ruin this. No shit. Hayden Christensen came back as Vader. Holy shit, I got goosebumps, man. Yes. Oh, my God, I got goosebumps right there, Lou. Lou just got me goosebumps. Please don't fuck this up, Disney. Please don't fuck this up. I, you know, Bounty Hunters going after Obi-Wan's pretty fucking awesome. I'm digging the feels of that. D.Y. said they better not screw this one up. <laughs> You know, I wasn't a big fan of the book of Boba Fett. I really wasn't, D.Y. I watched it. It was very slow. That's okay. They're trying to, like, get the lore out there, you know. They were true to the lore. They did okay with that, but there were sections of it. It was, it was, uh, it was, um, <sighs> they tried, but it didn't really, it was anticlimactic. Like, I, th I feel like the book of Boba Fett was a little anticlimactic, you know, D.Y.? Like, you know, Mandalorian is like many, many times better than, than the book of Boba Fett. And, you know, that's sad because Boba Fett, man, fucking Boba Fett, you know. I did like Mando. I did like Mando Astro. I did. I thought Mando was pretty tight. Christy actually enjoyed it too. She's, she, she likes the sci-fi. Christy likes the sci-fi. Yeah, they did set the bar. They did set the bar high with Mando. You're absolutely right. The guy who plays Mando, uh, uh, What's his name? Uh, starts with a P, doesn't it? Paul, pa what's what the Pedro? Pedro, the dude that, that plays Mando is in a new fucking. Let's see if I can pull this up. This is funny here. Pedro, what's his last name? Boba. It's not Pepe. <laughs> it's not Pepe. Although we had a great Cinco de Mayo yesterday. What what's his what's his last name? What's Pedro Pascal? Isn't it Pascal? Well, I think it's Pascal. And get this. Hold on. Wait till you see who else is in this shit. You got to watch this preview. I think I want to see this. It is Nicolas Cage as himself. I'm just putting it up here because really, I can't believe this is a movie. And I really want to see this movie with Nicolas Cage and Pedro. It's called The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Now, Nicolas Cage in this movie plays Nicolas Cage. I mean, it's genius. It's absolute genius, and I hope they don't mess it up. Let's watch this trailer real quick. What's the worry here, Nick? You've lost some of your talent as an actor? No. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He says he loves you, but he went in a different direction. I'm done. I'm quitting acting. Tell the trades it was a tremendous honor to be a part of storytelling and... Myth making. Ah, oh, fuck, man. I'm driving 
through the hills. I'm sorry. One more time. We got another offer. It's a million bucks. It's to attend a wealthy gentleman's birthday party. I would never do that. It's the easiest gig ever. You play yourself. What do we know about this guy anyway? Is he into something strange? It's not like he's going to want you to <laughs> suck his dick or fuck his wife or watch you watch him fuck his wife. I wouldn't think so. Welcome to Mallorca, Mr. Cage. The guy that owns this house, what's his name? Javi. Is Javi going to want me to uh, play him Javi? Nick Cage. <laughs> God, this place is stunning. What is your favorite movie? That's one of those questions that's impossible to answer. You can't just limit it to one. Imagine me and you, I do. Is it too much? Okay. Is this supposed to be me? Not <laughs> from face off. I'll give you 20,000 for it. <laughs> I can't see me loving nobody but you for all my life. I didn't know that was a cliff. <laughs> we could have died. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the actor Nick Cage. Nick Cage, I love you. Have you seen Croods 2? I'm 44 years old. Why the fuck would I see Croods 2? I've seen Face Off and Con Air. <laughs> what do you guys want? We're with Central Intelligence. Do you know who you're spending time with? One of the most ruthless men on the face of this planet. I need you to help the U.S. Yeah. government. Yeah, I did explode him. I think Find this is a great idea, home. man. Cage playing Cage. I see myself doing more of this stuff. I think I might have a real gift for it. Good, because we got another mission for you. No, 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 no. Your friend is working for the U.S. government. Don't lie to me. Are those my golden guns? They're my golden guns. <laughs> <laughs> this looks all types of good. Like, really? It's Nicolas Cage playing this Nicolas Cage. And then... As the movie progresses, he becomes a hero, like an action hero as Nicolas Cage. I mean, like the brilliance. Somebody smoked a lot of pot when they wrote this, and I love it. I don't want to kill you. You're the last person I want to kill. I love you. I love you. You'll just be sadly can be dangerous. I'm Nick fucking. Okay, I'm going to watch that shit. Is that out already? Why have I not watched this? Where can I fucking... I have to go to a movie theater for this shit, huh? I, I probably will. That's the unbearable weight of massive talent. Now, we went on a Pedro Pascal. I'm watching Star Wars, so I apologize. We kind of went on to a Pedro Pascal tangent. Uh, from Now, let's watch the last one here that was on the platter, uh, which is... Let's see here. Good old Asmund Gold. Aha. All right, the last trailer. How many fucking trailers do they have of Doctor Strange, right? Here's the thing I love about Doctor Strange. No, not the actor who portrays him, although he does a good job at it. I what's the dude? What's what's this guy's name? This English dude's name? He was he was a great Sherlock for a little bit until they kind of uh, jumped the shark, and you know, with it because they went a little crazy with Sherlock series. But what's this dude's name who plays? Um, Fucking Doctor Strange. What the fuck is his name? Thank you, Crystal King. Benedict Cumberpatch. What a name. He's talented. I mean, he's he's a good actor. Don't get me wrong when I say I'm not into this dude, generally speaking. Uh, but he is a good actor. Just, I don't know what it is about Benedict Cumberpatch. I don't know what it is. But I do like him as Doctor Strange. I do like him as Doctor Strange, and I've always liked Doctor Strange. As a kid, I was very into Doctor Strange comic books. I loved the whole concept of Doctor Strange. It brought a little bit of magic to it, felt a little Dungeons and Dragons. It, it's kind of like when Stan Lee wanted to mix a little bit of that, like, kind of like Dungeons and Dragons vibe in with his Marvel, you know, uh, fucking lore. And uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot, and I still like it. I think they're doing them justice. And this one really has me hyped because I did not think I would have liked the last Spider-Man, but I loved it. If you guys saw that tweet, the last Spider-Man, because I wasn't a big Thomas Holland fan. Um, and 
I think the way they weaved in all the different realities with the different Spider-Mans from the other movies we watched, like James Garfield and, of course, Toby, you know, which was excellent. They did such a good job with that Spider-Man. It gave me such nostalgic feels, you know. And I loved when Tom Holland's Spider-Man was in there and he's like, okay, but wait a second. Don't let them know about this. Don't let them know about this. And like Doctor Strange is in the middle of a fucking spell and he's dealing with this fucking teenage kid and the spell messes up. Like that was such a great scene uh, in that Spider-Man. So realities are getting fractured, even though they put it back together. I think what we're going to see here is kind of like the segue between when the when the fractured reality happened and then it got mended at the end. So I think this timeline's going to take place right in the middle of that movie when he comes back with that fucking box. Uh, but let's check it out and let's watch this last trailer. How many trailers do they have of uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? There's so many fucking trailers, but let's watch the last one they have. Someone once told me that the reality I thought I knew was just one of many. Be careful which paths you travel down. Stronger than you have lost their way. You think there will be no consequences? We're in the end game now. I sacrificed everything. I love the Scarlet Witch. And it I love her nothing. as an actress. She is so fucking good as the Scarlet Witch. She is so good. Oh, strange. What have you done? I never meant for this to happen. What the fuck? You cannot control everything. You brought the Okay, there's a rumor that Tom Cruise is the alternate fucking Captain America in this. Is this? Do you think this actually happened because they wanted to cast Tom Cruise before Robert Downey Jr. and Tom Cruise said no? That is the fucking hearsay going around uh, the block on YouTube. Okay, like that is what I'm hearing that that they're actually going to be having fucking Tom Cruise. Thank you. Hey, what's up, Eradicator? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man, yes, sorry, Iron Man. Did what I say, Captain America? Apologies. Oh, but for Captain America, they're going to be having a woman. Like how they, uh, in fact, it's the, the girlfriend, his wife, because Captain America dies in a reality, and they're going to have the woman who played his love interest be Captain America. I do know it's E-Red. I do know it's you. I'm not that stupid, E-Red. I, I understand it's you. How are you doing? <laughs> Thank you for being on stream. I'm in mid thought here. I'm in mid thought. I'm riffing. I'm, I, you know, it's so hard to be it's so demanding to be. God damn. Oh, maybe I just drank too much. <laughs> it's so demanding to be a streamer. Pepe, the world, the weight of the world is crushing me today. Did we have too many surveys yesterday? All right, let's keep going. This on yourself. You break the rules and become a hero. I do it and I become the enemy. This doesn't seem fair. <laughs> right, right. It's going to be very woke. I hope they don't woke this the fuck. Like, if, if this is overly woke, like, I will be upset. Right? Like, I feel, I feel like I'm done with this whole fucking woke bullshit. I'm so over the woke movement bullshit. I am an adult. I understand, you know, how to be a fucking adult. I don't need people telling me how to be a fucking adult. I won't ever take it over the top and be rude and be a fucking prick or an asshole. Like, all right? All right. But I, I, I can't stand the overly woke censorship that's happening in America to the point where it's killing comedy. Do you see what happened to Chappelle a day or two ago? He got charged up on stage, for God's sake. <laughs> fucking A, man. What did Will Smith start? <laughs> what did Will Smith start? So fucking Dave Chappelle got charged up on stream by somebody in the in the crowd. And I guess Jamie Foxx came down and saved his ass. It's crazy, man. You know what's happening right now with this woke culture is that people are self-censoring themselves. It is the worst form of censorship that has ever happened in my existence. And I hate it. I fucking hate it. Go, go, go. 
straight to the multiverse of gotta madness. Gotta fight back against that woke the bullshit. First to see the mind bending phenomenon. Listen, 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 listen. That trailer, that that didn't really show me anything. I didn't feel like I already saw. They are going to over trailer the fuck out of this. I can't, I can't stand that they're they're over trailering the fuck out of this. I love the fact that Doctor Strange is going into the multiverse. I hope there's a Loki appearance. Is there going to be a Loki appearance in this because of what's going on in the Loki series, which is fantastic, by the way. The Loki series on Disney Plus is really fucking good. And, you know, I even watched the Hawk, uh, the Hawkeye one with my daughter. And that was a good bonding family kind of experience. I, I It wasn't amazing, uh, but, like, she really liked it. And uh, I thought Hawkeye was okay. Uh, but I really loved Loki. Like, Loki was fantastic. Anyway, back to the show.